You're in my way! All right, so let's go ahead and get in here. Hello, my lovely child of the internet. It is I, Multi12679, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses, The Golden Winds. Well, last time, after rescuing Flane, we all kind of celebrated and we're happy that, you know, we now have our, our, good, our good girl Flane back. So she's back. Also, this is also something I wanted to note. Uh, since we did so much of the hot springs, we're gonna be able to boost Actually. Oh, uh, only one person gets the bonus? Oh. Wait, no, some of them did. Oh, yeah, Thurl didn't get one because I was bad. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was worried for no reason. But, yes, we are going to be doing some teaching today. So, uh, yeah, let's get in. Let us, let us get it in. I could have kept going. Well, you can't, actually, because you ran out. But yeah, it was the thought that counts. Uh... You didn't get it. Everybody who got the boost should basically just get this. Because it's an extra little bit. Oh, axe breaker. Experience nice. is everything. Uh, you already got that, but I'll still give it to you. Yeah, give it to me. Um, I still want you to learn some good magic moves, bro. So. It's unfortunate that they're not maxed out. Like, not all these characters are maxed out the max where they should be getting a whole lot of benefits from this but you know it's fine yeah you got this but it's okay if you're wondering why i'm not getting marianne's special skill because she's really bad with that specific weapon and the weapon skill ain't gonna really change that so i just decided that it'd probably be best not to even worry about it uh we're now gonna work with focus on her sword uh, because her final class that I'm gonna put her in is gonna need sword, which is really awkward considering that it doesn't use it any other time. But I'm gonna be focusing on that for Leone for the next little bit. Um, let's see, my girls, my girls over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, my girls are pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty stacked. Um, I kind of want to know if she. Learn some actual decent magic, actually. Uh, is it worth it? Uh, probably not right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. You have my thanks for your support. You're welcome. You're welcome. And now I'm gonna pour it in you here, cause you know it's the last one, and I don't really care. Um, and who should I focus on? Probably this would be good to focus on. All right, perfect. Not everybody got their steam boost out. I understand that, but that's okay. So let's see. I also wanted to change up a few things. Uh, Claude, I think, is fine to rock it out without use learning any more sword for now. So I'm just gonna make him focus on axe and yeah, probably flying. Yeah, axe and flying seems pretty good. I will teach him some fists, but yeah, he's fine. Uh, your boy's gonna keep doing what he's doing right now. His his magic level is already super high, so I'm fine with him keeping that. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, he's gonna keep doing this because I think that's gonna be the most beneficial. Because he really needs. I would like him to learn a few more white magic for what I'm gonna have him set up for. He's fine where he is. She's basically fine where she is for the most part. Uh, the only other thing I might change, just due to the fact that to hurry up her up along, is doing that. Um, she's fine. Uh, actually, I need to check one thing. Alright, classes. Uh, if I want her to, because her last one I want her to be on is, if not Holy Knight, 
then Dark Knight, which means I just need to get her lance up higher and her riding, so that's fine. I can do that easily. Uh, yes. We'll, yeah, we'll just do this then. See, I don't want her to learn it, but now that I've realized that to do one or the other, I need to get the thing that I forgot that she's going to need to get. I'm going to make her a thing. Uh, Hilda's fine where actually she is, because what she's going to be is going to be relatively soon. Um... She's fine where she's at, though. I mean, I could teach her bow and arrow, and that would be really OD. Hmm. Yes, you know what? Considering that she already has almost B-plus spears, and she's going to be primarily using that, I'll just have it for an option select, I suppose. Uh, you'll be fine with uh, this and this. Actually, I want to see. I wanted to see if you had any cool magic, so I actually will put you on that. Your girl... She's fine where she's at, and he's fine where he's at. Yeah, he's fine where he's at. Alright, and for the group task, we're going to go ahead and switch it over. Uh, your girl already has a lot, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, who do I want to pair it up? Oh, let's see. I'm trying to think who would be a funny pair to go see do something, so. Um. Yeah, this might be a funny pairing. Let's go ahead and check this out. Professor, may I ask you a question? Uh, okay. I wanted to be able to talk to the males and my <laughs> male friends in my class, but then again, my brother causes a fuss every time I do. What should I do? Uh. Do it when he's not looking. That's that's the golden rule for you. See, Hilda even laughed. She liked that answer. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh. Uh, not right now. Soon, but not right now. Huh. Uh. Uh, Raphael. Soon, but not right now. Huh. Let you take the lead. Sure. Nice to have help for once. Pardon me, Professor. We're all done. Huh. I'm actually pretty good at this. All right. And after a long week's work... Better than before. I'm getting much better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. And if you're wondering what time it is, well, <laughs> you may not be ready for it, but I certainly am. Uh, yeah. So, what you may be wondering, because I said what time it is. And I'm like, eh, well, it's it's heavily time for us to do something really cool, really unique, and something you definitely won't see coming. But I'm still going to do it anyway, so, uh... Yeah, the next thing we're going to do is, uh, do supports today. I was just checking one more time to make sure that I got everything that I would like before we moved on, so... Uh, there might be one or two more things that I'm going to need to get, but that's okay. We'll, we'll jump to that boat ship when we get there. Um, yeah, I guess she's fine for the most part. And... Whatever, we'll put you on this, I guess. Failed. Wah, wah. I failed. <laughs> failure, failure. Dillweed. Okay. Uh, Hilda, you got this. 66% easiest, 66% in your life. Oh, yeah, shucks. look at that. Go, I girl. Guess I Go, did girl. It. Yeah, you did. Uh, you're not going to go on that yet, but it's, it's there. Um, 
She gets something really good if I do that, so I... Mercenary or that? Mm, I'm gonna go with this. This gives a better ability, in my opinion. Or something that I'm gonna use more often I have than success. not, so... Thank you. And your girl is still fine doing what she's doing. And your boy's kind of fine doing what he's doing for now, so... Yeah, I think we're basically, we're basically out of the woodworks. Alright, so I hope you guys are ready to enjoy some supports. Uh, the supports that we're going to be doing today are only going to be class related, and it's only going to be moving some of the students up just a little bit to where they're going to be mostly at B. So I hope you guys are ready, because this is going to be a long video of supports, but I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next episode when we do the next battles. So I'll catch you then. What is it, Marianne? I'm curious why you've been eating your meals near me as of late. I'm not much for conversation. I'm always at a loss for words, and I never know how to respond to questions. Well, it's true that there are some who prefer a lively dinner table, but I prefer to eat in peace. With you, my meals are a relaxing experience. In fact, you are the most peaceful dining companion I've ever had. R really there is a real grace and fluidity to your every movement. I greatly appreciate refined table manners. Observing you all this time, I believe I've realized what is so striking about you. Your beauty comes from the heart. It is an inner beauty. It is not some flamboyant pageantry, a product of external adornment or grooming. When I first noticed it, I thought that it could use some refinement, a little polish, but I was mistaken. You are perfect in your natural state, just as you are. You think I'm beautiful? Just the way I am? Certainly. To add a superficial luster on top of what you already possess would be offensively redundant. No one's ever said anything like that to me before. Alas, I am the only one with eyes. But perhaps it is for the best that your beauty not be revealed to all the world. Yes. It is certainly better that only I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, can appreciate your true magnificence. And on that note, I bid you farewell. What a strange person. But being called beautiful just the way I am, that was nice to hear. Nuts. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Relax. You're not interrupting. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were training out here. I sometimes come here to practice by myself. It's more like a real battlefield, you know? Shooting the targets in the yard lets you train your aim and all, but the tension just isn't the same. You're right. A real battlefield feels quite different. But if that's the atmosphere you want, I feel even more like I'm intruding. Oh, knock it off. You're already here. May as well stick around while I catch my breath. Ah, okay, sorry. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. You know you've said you're sorry about a dozen times since you got here. Oh, I'm so- Ah. <laughs> it's fine. I guess it's part of your charm. Hey, what's that bundle of papers? Oh, did you come here to paint? I remember now. Someone said you're a great artist. You paint a lot, right? Uh, yes. Yes. When I have the time, that is. I enjoy painting. It helps me relax. Oh, well, that could be your thing. My thing? Huh? What do you mean? Last time we talked about it, you said you didn't have a thing you were really amazing at. But if you like painting so much, it must be a skill you're looking to master. M my paintings are nothing but a hobby. Besides, I'm not that good. I never took art lessons. When... When I was little, I drew a picture for a young girl. The picture made her so happy that I decided to keep at it. 
That's how it started. So you're practicing your art to make other people happy? Is that it? Oh no, th that's an overstatement. I must insist again, it's just a hobby. Even if I were to become a master artist, it wouldn't be a useful skill. Aren't you from a merchant family employed by the nobles? I think it would be really useful there. I'm not inheriting the business. My brother is. My father said that I'm to become a knight. So my art won't do anyone any good. At all. Ever. Oh, Ignatz. Hey, I'm about to take out the trash. Got anything you want me to take? Uh, how about these? Just some old study notes of mine. Wow, that's quite the pile there. You sure it's all fine to throw away? Of course. It's all safely stored in my brain now. If I concentrate, I can access any of it with ease. Why am I not surprised? I wish I had even half your power of concentration. Okay, here we go. Ugh, this is pretty heavy. Well, it'll be a good workout. Oh, but you were telling me not to take my training so lightly. Still, can't hurt to get a little exercise in. I'll just take it at a run. See you later. Hmm? What is it, Lysithia? Was there something in that pile of paper you wanted to hang on to after all? No, that's not it. There's just... something I want to say to you. I'm sorry for saying your way of doing things was inefficient. You've clearly grown plenty strong, doing things as you have. Not to mention, multitasking and training in that way surely presents interesting challenges. <laughs> well, sure. But if everyone has their own methods, then your methods aren't wrong either. All you did was share them with me, so there's no need for apologies. Still, it's probably beyond me to imitate your levels of focus and concentration. How do you even manage to throw yourself into only one thing like that? I haven't much choice. I can't waste even a single moment. I can understand that. I'm sort of the same way. I hate feeling like I'm not getting enough work done. Anyway, you should just do what works for you. You've got something you want to achieve, right? That's why you feel pressured to study so hard. Yes. Then focus on what matters to you. Leave the rest to people who have the time for it. And hey, if you need any heavy lifting done, you know where to go. The way I see it, it's all training. You know, Leonie, you're so kind, so strong. Whoa, what's with the compliments all of a sudden? I was just thinking what an incredible partner you'd make. Really, you've got all of the perfect qualities. What? I'm not simply saying that. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. <laughs> You're making me blush. What a strange way to compliment someone. Ignatz, why are you following me? Oh, I... can I help you with something? You must be struggling by yourself, Cyril. This is my job. I do it myself. But we could do it so much faster working together. You don't have to. I don't mind. Plus, if we finish early, you can go and do whatever you like. You want to know what I want to do? Sure, tell me. I'd like to do my assigned work without you pestering me. Oh. Okay. Why are you always so concerned about what I'm doing anyway, Ignatz? It's kind of weird, you know? Wow. It hurts when you put it like that. I've been meaning to ask you about Almira. You always look so busy, but... I thought you might talk to me if I helped with your work. There's nothing about Almira worth talking about. But I find it all so fascinating. Please, tell me about the people, the buildings, the flowers. Ooh, any scenery you liked looking at. Nope, never took much time to look at anything. Why do I gotta talk about stuff I don't want to talk about just because you're bored, Ignatz? Even though you endured hardships, there must have been some things you enjoyed. You don't get it. Look, I'm gonna go. Should have done it already. Okay, sorry to bother you. Let me know if I can help. Oh, and I hope we can talk some other time. But there's nothing to talk about. Jeez, 
What a weirdo. Hey, Cyril. What are you up to? Working? You're in the way, Hilda. Move. How rude. I'm not in the way. Are you just here to goof off? No, I'm here to feed the horses, actually. Uh-huh. Where's the fodder, then? I wasn't sure where to find it. Can you help with that? I'll take care of it. I'm cleaning the place anyways. Oh, thanks. It's great to have you on the job. I know you'll handle it perfectly. Yeah, well, I don't like it when I feel like I'm not doing my part. You're always so focused on the task at hand. Sometimes I almost forget you're all Myron. I always thought they were a rough and unreliable sort of people. Though, you're not really like the rest of them. You seem normal for the most part. Rough and unreliable, huh? My family has to fight against Almyron sometimes. Not that my father or brother ever clued me in on what the battles were like. But I do know that armies from Almyra will attack without reason and break treaties and tell lies. Everyone says they're a bunch of brutes. Yeah? Huh. Am I boring you? I'm talking about your people. Those aren't my people. I was just born there. Hmm. Okay. Let's turn the tables. How do the people of Fodlin seem to you, from an Almyran perspective? Huh. That look on your face. Are you okay? I can't tell you what I think of folks from Fodlin. I don't really got an impression of them altogether. What's that supposed to mean? There's all sorts of different people everywhere. You can't say everybody of one place is any one thing. It's no different when you're talking about Fodlin or Almira or any place else. And wherever you go, you see people in power keep the weak ones down. The only difference far as I'm concerned is, one place has Lady Rhea, and the other don't. <sighs> What's this? Well, if it isn't Cyril, how did he manage to fall asleep here? The warmth must have put him right down. He looks so cute when he's napping. <sighs> I'll just keep reading. No need to disturb him. Good morning, Cyril. Did you sleep well? What? Where? Mer... 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 Uh. It's Mercedes. I hope you'll commit my name to memory. Oh, sorry. I know it, but it's hard to say. You're from Almira, aren't you? I hope you haven't been uncomfortable here at the Academy. Ah, it's great. I eat every day. Were you not eating before you came here? Every couple days, maybe. It was rough. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you hungry? Um... You should eat up, to make up for all the meals you missed in the past. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Mer... Mammal... Mar... Just call me Mercy. That's what my friends call me. Mercy. Mercy? Hey! Thanks, Mercy. Well, I had a good sleep, but there's work to do now. See ya. It doesn't seem like he has very many friends here. It's troubling, but I probably shouldn't pry. Marianne, do you mind if I ask you about something? Yes. It's about animal behavior. Among us all, you surely know the most about animals. I've read that in outdoor battles, wild animals can sometimes cause unexpected confusion. What do you think would be the best strategy to... Um, are you listening, Marianne? I was listening. I just don't think I can really... For crying out loud! Why do you always have to admit defeat before even giving yourself a chance? My advice would probably just put everyone in danger. You'd be better off without me. This is beyond ridiculous. You're impossible. 
You seem convinced you're some sort of cursed being, destined to bring doom and gloom to anyone you encounter. Well... Why do you have such a terrible opinion of yourself? How could you possibly be so dense? I just... Just nothing! Now you listen to me for a moment. I can see that you have some deep-seated turmoil you struggle with. I'll have you know I have quite a few issues of my own, perhaps more grave than yours, if you can imagine. R really Yes, but I'm not the only one who has such troubles to contend with. Everyone does. That's why it's so important to maintain a positive outlook and do what we can. Each time we find the light in the dark, we grow bit by bit. And without growth, what's the point in carrying on? Lysithia... I envy your confidence and strength. Don't envy me. Instead, just choose to find the positive, won't you? Yes. Well, maybe someday. The time is now! This is your moment! Oh, okay. That's more like it. Now to start, why don't you help me out by answering my questions about wild animals? I certainly try my best.